Before Joan Rivers, there was a tradition of Jewish women in comedy, like men, disproportional to the population. One can start with Sophie Tucker, who was, by her own definition, not only a torch singer, but also a comedian. And she would use humor to awaken uh, a slumbering suitor. Mr. Siegel, we better make it legal. And my boch is shine a kegel. Ich hab my rede for chuppe wird bei uns gewähn a bris. Sophie Tucker was also a red hot mama in politics and union activity. She was the founder of the precursor of the Actors' Equity Union. And she carried on her shtick to her dying days in her 80s. And Fanny Bryce should be remembered, a uh, funny girl who uh, used Yiddish dialect uh, to uh, gain fame and fortune. Uh, I'm a bad woman, she would say, but I'm damn good company. And so you have in the theater uh, women who are willing to express themselves in comic fashion. And that brings us to Joan Rivers, born in Brooklyn, she grew up on Eastern Parkway. Her father was a doctor, her mother a um, nouveau riche looking for the good life. At age 16, her parents moved to Larchmont, where her mother worried because her older sister became a prominent lawyer and she was single into her 30s. And so Joan Rivers used comedy to deal with her condition as she claimed that her mother put a sign in front of the uh, gateway to the th New York Thruway, last girl uh, before the Thruway. Joan Rivers uh, commanded an audience in the Catskills. She was inspired like Mrs. Maisel by Lenny Bruce, who told her, you're a good kid, keep at it. Don't let the naysayers deter you. You've got what it takes. So she went to Chicago, became part of the uh, troupe improvis improvisation. And she came back and she started to do stand-up comedy like Mrs. Maisel. And she had routines that made fun of herself. And she said, when I, on my wedding night, uh, Edgar, my husband, approached me. He said, let me undo your slip and I was naked at that time. My body is so bad that I advertise it as uh, I dress by Oscar Lorenta, my body by Oscar Meyer. I went before uh, three uh, stagehands and they saw me naked as I was dressing. Two turned gay and one threw up. So here is a woman who used Jewish self-deprecating humor to win friends and influence people. And that worked for a while. She said, uh, look at me, I'm flat-chested. I have uh, A cup, uh, B cup, and B minus cup. And, and, uh, and then she said, I want to be, uh, I want to have a Jewish uh, birth. When Melissa's born, I want to be knocked out for two weeks and wake up at the hairdresser. And then suddenly she became far more aggressive. She, I'll never forget seeing her at Brooklyn College where she looked at the first row and she saw a woman with a jewel and she said, you got that piece of crap sleeping next to that ugly man next to you? Shame on you. And she would do these things that were extremely volatile and, and uh, provocative. But then she took on the glamour girls. She took on Elizabeth Taylor, who converted to Judaism when she married the Jewish, well, she married two Jews, Mike Todd and later Eddie Fisher. And Lenny Bruce said that by converting to Judaism, she, she actually uh, turned back our religion to 2,000 years. Anyway, she got heavy and Joan Rivers leaped on the the anti-Taylor bus. She is so fat, she has more chins than a Chinese phone book. When she puts on a yellow dress, 
uh, children think she's a school bus and try to mount her. Very cruel, but very uh, typical of Joan Rivers. She was the equivalent of Don Rickles, filled with hate. And then she took on uh, Don Rickles' uh, mantle. She became a hate monger. I hate everybody, she wrote in one of her books. And she hated Nancy Kissinger. Nancy Kissinger is a horse. She looks like a horse. And she wears, she wears saddles made by Gucci. And when Henry tries to mount her, Henry, advisor to the president and master of the world, she goes, nay, nay, and thus ends their, their brief encounter. Joan Rivers, however, never lost her bite and her love for Israel. She said she is so pro-Israel that she sleeps naked with an Uzi. And as she turned more conservative in her later years, she made Israel her top priority. Unfortunately, Joan Rivers had so many cosmetic surgeries that eventually it caused her death, tragically, at 81, with a box full of jokes and a uh, repertoire that was unlike anyone else. But Joan Rivers, before her death, paved the way for Elaine Boozler, often called the Jackie Robinson of female comedy, and other great comedians who followed. Uh, and in fact, uh, they pay tribute to Joan Rivers. She is the model of the modern major Jewish comedian who made us laugh and more importantly, made us think as well.